right guys in this video I'm going to be showing you how to raise your seat in a, a Sin kayak I'm going to show you how to raise your seat in a FS-12T kayak I believe it works for the 2015 2016 and maybe the 2017 models this is for the FS-12T show you right here Let's see that this is what's gonna raise it maybe probably six inches six or seven maybe eight eight inches but first let me clean all this all this junk out of the way so we can have a clear floor to work with I'm gonna take this apart and then I'm gonna show you step by step how to put it together what you'll need and so forth alright guys give me a minute to clean this up I'll be back stay tuned alright guys I'm back I did clean my room but it was still it was still a little bit cluster in there so I decided to do it out out here in the hall things you will need is uh, you'll need uh, two rod holders I mean no not rod holders what you will need is uh, two shower curtain rods uh, these are uh, 24 inch to 36 inch they extend to 36 inch they start at 24 inch yeah I got these at big lots for like five bucks each <clears throat> Show you too. They extend. They extend to whatever, whatever inch you want, and then all you have to do to tighten it is to twist it, and it'll tighten up. You got your shower curtain rods, one for the back, one for the front, and you'll need uh, four hose clamps. You'll need four of them, about this size. Know what that size is you either need a flathead or one of these uh, 5 16 this will be easier for when you're tightening this up you know you also need a tape measure last thing you'll need is your seat just upside down Alright guys, we'll start the process. This is gonna raise your seat about six inches. We'll flip it over. We're gonna measure we're gonna measure the rods first. The rear rod, shower curtain rod is gonna be 24 inches. So this one should be 24 inches all the way down. We'll measure it just in case. It is 24 inches. This is gonna be the rear. We're gonna put this in the rear. Tighten it up. Set it aside. And in the front, the front is going to be should be 28 inches so you'll measure it out 28 That's good. there we go set that aside so the rear is 24 inches and the front is going to be 28 inches 24 28 so we'll start with the back side, which is the smaller one. What you want to do is take this, unscrew it all the way out, and then you're gonna wrap it, wrap it under here. Tighten it up and 
get your other one. Don't tighten it all the way yet, because we still gotta level it out. Take your other one and put it in here. Tighten that up. Alright, once these are almost tightened up, you want to just try to level it out as much as you can. And then if you want more support, you can add a couple more of these hose clamps throughout your leg because uh, you know these are these are metal metal shower curtains man I'm trying to bend it as hard as I can I can't it won't bend so anybody over say what 200 250 this will probably work for you uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to bend it What's not making it bend is because this this has another rod inside of this one because it's giving you more more support. See? So if any of y'all are questioning that, these are pretty sturdy. Okay. So we're gonna tighten this up fully. I want to have it maybe right there. If you want to put this under it, when you tighten it, put something under it. That way it can stand up. other side. Flip it around. Let's, uh, let's do this the easier way. Tighten it up first. And then we can slide the uh, curtain rod. Slide this in right here. And there you go. Now all we have to do is just tighten it. Tighten it a little bit. We'll tighten it a little bit and then we'll fix where it needs to be. Alright. Now we're going to measure it. We're just going to guesstimate the points. And that looks about right. We'll measure it five inches, about five inches from the from the, from the seat. And we'll tap it all the way down. And for the front, you want to put the bar the rod behind, like closer behind the seat. And the rear, you want to put it toward the back. There. This one's on. Again, you can put more of these hose clamps to uh, give it more support, which I'm only 150, so I don't need that much. This is what it looks like. Finished. And that only took like what? Almost what? 15, 20 minutes. Easy mod to do. 
to raise your seat. Inexpensive, probably around 15 bucks. Shower curtains were five dollars each, so that's ten dollars. These hose clamps, uh, you can get them for a bundle for like two, three dollars at Lowe's. And that's that's it. Now you just stick this on your kayak, and if you need to adjust it, when you stick it on your kayak, you just you can just unscrew these it around or you can just unscrew this and just lengthen it or whatever and that should work if you want to see this you can check out my other videos of my kayak I got another seat tutorial that's just like this but this one's more more detailed I hope you guys like this video Please drop a like if you like it, subscribe, comment below, any questions, comments, anything. Let me know if you want to see anything else like this, comment below. Thanks for watching Bass and Coffee, see you next time. And you know